Okay. All right, according to this, we, according to this, we are live. So hopefully this works this time. Hello, Chad and Jason. I'm taking it you can see and hear me. Hello, Robert Monty and Sparkster and Matt and Andre. I'm on, yes. G.I. Joe Espanol, nice to see you. Cobra Island, how do you do? Zathras and Peter Ang. Paul Murray, Impossible Pie, Yo Joe. Yes, so um, audio is working, camera is working, everything's just like all kinds of working. Um. Oh my goodness, we've got uh, Jose and um, uh, Lazarus and Bob's Dungeon and Christopher Wesley and uh, Kaylee Matthew Commendador. I hope you're, I, I, I still don't know if I'm saying your first name right, but Mr. Commendador, how do you do? Uh, Big Town Machine Shop, nice to see you, sir. Uh, James and Nyquist uh, and Max and Christopher, how do you do? Um, De Blue and um, Beach Head, uh, Beach, I almost said Beach Head, Beach 76, um, Boosted Pony and JK Siege. Hello, Mike Layton. Uh, we have, there is G.I. Joe news to talk about, so uh, I'm gonna get to that. I just want to give everybody a chance to, you know, arrive. Um, yeah, so, um, Crazy week. Um, hello, Curtis Schultz. Uh, hello, Michigan from the United States. Welcome. Uh, there we go. Um, now, what about that? Oh, your hours switched, Cobra Island. Well, sorry you won't be able to make it. Well, maybe sometimes if you get uh, an evening off, maybe you can join us. Uh, but it's always nice to have you here. Um so, yeah, the hype train. Um, well, I mean, it's it's partial hype train, and it's uh, it's partial. Um, you know, we have to wait a long time for stuff. I don't know if that's really hype. Um, uh, yeah. So we've got we've got stuff. Um, <laughs> um, So, and I, I even took a couple of, of uh, pre-show notes. How about that? I did show prep. Not that this is the right page. It's on. It's here somewhere. Um, we got a, we got stuff to talk about too, because um, one of my videos went up on Sunday, and one of Timmer's videos went up today. Um, and there's um, there's a Patreon poll going on right now. Hello, SEO Toy Review. Um, Oh, wait, you didn't get a notification that I was live. Okay, that's weird. Um, and it may be on my end because I'm still not clear on all of the settings. I'm using the new um, interface for YouTube Live. And so I may be still be doing something wrong. But, hey, it's better than last week. It's better than last week because at least now I've got your live chat on the screen at the same time I'm on the screen, so, you know, hey, I, I considering this an absolute win, you know, we are, you know, we're moving on up, hello Gaz, uh, nice to see you here, um, uh, oh, you had, uh, Chad said that you had Pimp Daddy Destro as a kid, um, oh, you misunderstood which figure, um, okay, yeah, the Pimp Daddy Destro, um, was, uh, that was, uh, it, it, chances are very slim that you actually picked, or that anybody actually, uh, picked up that figure at retail, at least anyone here. 
Uh, and I'm not kidding, that figure is ridiculously rare. I mean, we're talking about uh, fewer than a uh, uh, hundred of them, probably fewer than 50 known to exist right now. Um, yes, uh, cla and the classic and now profit director Destro is, um, is on the way. Uh, oh, hello, Rob M. Nice to see you. Um, uh, and thank you, Nyquist. Uh, it was a good convergence, but I'm, uh, I am a pretty exhausted from it, to be totally honest with you. I'm really glad I'm taking, uh, this next week off. I think I'm really, truly gonna take a little bit of time off. Um, I'm really, I'm tired, uh, and I need just a little bit of a break away from thing to kind of, things to kind of, uh, recharge my batteries. Hello, Leah, and hello, Mac. Um... Max Blue. Uh, yes, there. Uh, Max is correct. There was a 25th anniversary release of Pimp Daddy Destro, and uh, somebody pointed out last week that um, Arthur Burkhart is not a fan of uh, Pimp Daddy Destro. So if you see him at um, at a convention or something, don't ask him to sign one of those. Get a get him a regular Destro or something. Don't, don't ask him to sign the. The Pimp Daddy version. Yes, uh, yes, JK, CCV exhaustion. Um, but, uh, I mean, I'm tired. I'm, I'm mentally tired, but I'm also a little bit excited because I think this is the first time ever uh, that um, I've actually been looking forward to the next Cobra Convergence after one has just wrapped up. So I've got ideas. Hello, John Carling. Um, I have ideas. Um, I have uh, some uh, ways to make it even bigger and more significant. Uh, hello, Adam Burkett. And WWJD85, how do you do? Um, uh, thank you very much. Um uh, Impossible Pie, he doesn't like the, the um, negative connotation of the, 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 the pimp um, moniker, I guess. It's, uh, it, it, I mean, if you think about it, it's not, it's not flattering. It's not, um, it's, it's not a positive thing. And of course, um, oh, hello, Jeff Ball. Um, oh, hi, uh. Hi, Eric. Uh, you fumbled uh, your uh, touch screen, but um, uh, but you re recovered. Um, yeah. So he, yeah, he does like it's that's a collector's thing, and it it's the name Pimp Daddy Destro is not what it was officially called. Um, it's the name that's kind of assigned to it <clears throat> by um, by collectors by fans. Um, but yeah, that's, you know, it, it, it takes it kind of personally. So I would suggest not bringing that to, uh, to him if he's at a convention. Um, and I, I did, I mean, I talked to him a little bit. I didn't talk to him about Pimp Daddy Destro, but I talked to him a little bit about Destro in general. Um, and, uh, he is... Um, uh, yeah, Jason, it, it's kind of, yeah, it is, there is a bit of a race, uh, race, racial stereotype that, um, that is part of that. Um, but, uh, uh, I did talk with Arthur Burkhart a, a little bit, um, and I would say that he, although he, um, you know, enjoys being Destro, uh, he would like to remember, um, uh, he'd li be, like to be remembered as being more than the voice of Destro, and he'd like to be remembered maybe for his much longer and more significant um, acting career, which is one of the things I tried to point out in my review of Destro, is that he's done a lot more than, um, th than Destro. Uh, hello, MCDJ ACDC. 
Um, Arthur Burghardt has been in movies, television shows. Um, he's been on the stage. Um, he's done um, a significant amount of work. Um, and I think that he'd like to have that recognized. So, um, uh, so yeah, just, just keep that in mind. Oh, uh, th uh, thank you for that information, SEO Toy Review. And but thanks uh, to that, uh, you can avoid that kind of uh, faux pas if, um, if you ever meet him. So, yeah. So, don't bring him a profit director destro. That's what I'm saying. Don't bring him a profit director destro. That would be in poor taste. Yeah, Nyquist, obviously, me too. I mean, the the classic Destro is, um, I think, the, I mean, version one I still think is the best. Um, version two had some good things, or, yeah, version two all, is also, I think, really good. Version three had some good things going for it, but then, as I pointed out in the review, some oddities. Um, but um, but I, st I still go back to version one as my go-to Destro. Um, I mean, it just, I mean, <laughs> it's an unforgettable figure and, and s strange in a lot of ways. I mean, Destro from the get go is weird, right? With the, the gold or, or the silver head, sorry. And the, the open, why does he have an open bare chest? I don't know. Why does he have a ruby medallion? I asked, I asked Ron Rudat, and he doesn't really know. Um, uh, Fatal Fluffy asks if Classic Destro was also called called Red Jackal. Uh, that you're thinking of the uh, Action Force UK version. It was a repaint, but it used um, it, it used the same body as uh, the US uh, Destro. Uh, yes, Destro is supposed to be Scottish, uh, not a 1970s. But yes, uh, that is correct, Paul. You you are correct. Um, and the the whole the whole pimp daddy Destro thing is supposed to just be a joke. Hello, code name new two vero two. It was supposed to just be a joke, and it probably should have just stayed that way. You know, should have just stayed as a joke, but you know. Sometimes jokes get a little out of hand. Uh. Um, so yes, uh, thanks everyone for being here. Um, I uh, I am still sorting out and figuring out this um, uh, this new YouTube interface with um, the live streams, and it's it's. I think going a little bit better. Um, uh, uh, thank you, Draws. Welcome. Nice to see you there, sir. Oh, hello. There's uh, Rob Irizarry. Um, Mike Irizarry's better half. At least that's that's what I hear. Uh, hello, Rob. Um, like many of the rich and famous of his day, Studio was a regular at Studio uh, Studio Fifty Four. Yeah, that's that's uh, there is definitely a, a disco thing, and I, I think in my uh, review, my second review of version one, I had like a a C three PO disco Godfather kind of thing. And by the way, if you haven't seen the movie Disco Godfather, you should see it. Uh, it's insane. Um. Good luck, uh, Cobra Island. Best of luck. Um, I I do have I I have GI Joe news, and I have even a little bit of, of notes. I have I did show prep, guys. I did show prep prep so we would have something to talk about. So uh, let's but let's start with um, you know with with channel business. Um. Uh, hello, Warpath1985. No reason to apologize. Uh, at least not that I know of, unless you did something bad. In which case, I accept your apology. Um, uh, the um, uh, most recent video, I redid uh, Cobra Law. 
And not only did I redo Cobra Law, um, I had previously taken down my um, first Cobra Law review. Um, but I went back and watched it in preparation for the new one. And honestly, I don't think it was that bad. I mean, yeah, I, I tossed the figures around a little bit. And I did say that I didn't care a whole lot about, like, their accessories and stuff. But it... it it, it, it really wasn't as bad as some people have made it out to be. It had been a long while. Um, it had been a long while since I had um, watched that video. So I went and I put that one back up. Um, <laughs> uh, yes, thank you, Trek, for your... Uh, the, the Baroness likes chest hair. That's... Um, yeah, yeah, man, we could we could speculate about that relationship in in many ways, and not all of it is um, is uh, uh, it, not all not all of the speculation could be in a, a pleasant area. Let's, let's just leave it leave it there. Hello, uh, painted plastic, welcome, nice to see you, sir. Uh, and uh, James Corman, uh, greetings, New Jersey from the United States. Um, uh, and Jason Karras says, keep up the original, uh, Cobra Law review. I am going to, I put it back up. I made it public again, and I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it there. I, I just, I just don't think it is as unfair as, uh, some folks have, uh, have complained. That's, that's my thought after watching it again. Uh... I don't recall um, the Baroness leaving Destro for Zartan. Uh, that, that's, a, that's a new one on me. Uh, greetings, Cybertron from the United States. Um, Golobulus, um, there have been some customs of Golobulus um, that have been updated, but... Um, uh, Rob says one of my favorite things at JoeCon was to listen to people complain about Cobra Law than demand the club make a Pythona figure. Well, they did make a Pythona figure. Um, and, um, and, uh, uh, of course, I don't, I don't really collect the modern figures, but Timmer got one, so I wanted to have Timmer on to, to show that. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan of Cobra Law, um. And, uh, and, and that's okay. And a lot of people are, and, and that's also fine. Um, but, uh, but, you know, I, I, I just, I, I wanted to redo the, the, the video, redo the review, and put in all the stuff that I left out, the accessories, the, the card back, and all of that, um, so that it can be done once and for all, and I can move on. So uh, whoever wants a, a, a fair review can watch it. Um, uh, hold on, I saw a question from, okay. Uh, Codename new to, are you, uh, new to Vero 2, can you ask everyone who got the Amazon Stormy? Uh, are their packages coming all dented? Like we are seeing in some groups. Uh, has anybody got the uh, Amazon exclusive Storm Shadow? Um, excuse me. And if you did, uh, are the boxes dented? That's what um, New2Vero2 Two Vero Two is wanting to know. I don't have mine yet. Mine is supposed to come in Friday. I'm supposed to get it this Friday. Uh, but I don't have it yet. So I'll have to see if, uh, if it's got a, a dent... Uh, dented box. Go Boy says, yes, mine is all denty. So, uh, it's not minty, it's denty. Uh, SEO Toy Review says, uh, his was perfect, but came in a bubble mailer. If that's why they're getting dented if they're shipped in a bubble mailer. Uh, yeah. Made the trip in a, yeah, okay. All right. Now, if they're getting shipped in bubble mailers, then it's just inevitable some of them are going to get dented. Yes, denty is now a word. 
Warpath, Warpath has an idea. Um, before we move on and talk about the 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 GI Joe news, I want to make sure that um, that I acknowledge that today is Tuesday, which means um, uh, Timmer's new video for Half the Battle is up. Uh, he did a review of the animated um, uh, animated series episode Cobra World. Um, so make sure you check that out. He, he does reviews of the animated series as well, which I don't really do, although I include some of that in my toy reviews. So if you want more full reviews of the animated series, you know, Timmer is your guy. Uh, Beach 76 says dented. Yes. Yes. Bubble mailer. Um, Uh, Cobra Law is deemed irrelevant uh, by Transformers Only Human episode in Season 3. Okay, uh, I will have to check that out. I'm not well-versed in, uh, in the Transformers episodes. Um, a lot of people reporting their Arctic Stormy delayed until October. Uh, mine was not supposed to come in until October, but apparently I'm getting mine this week. Um, so, um, do check out Timmer's new video. Uh, he's got a, a new video every Tuesday. Um, yeah, that episode was, um, uh, that episode was, <laughs> it was, it was goofy. It was, it was, it was a little bit silly. Um, I have seen, I actually did watch that re episode recently. So I, I, I remember it very well. Hello, what's on Joe Mind? Um, which I assume is uh, Mike Irizarry on the What's on Joe Mind account. Rob Irizarry's better half. That's what I've heard. Uh. Um, Arctic Storm Shadow originally not supposed to ship till October, but lots like mine came early. Sent me a notification it was coming early. Yeah, um, and that's um, that's apparently what I'm getting. I think. Uh, yes, uh, what's on Joe Mind is doing Thursdays at nine. Uh, Warpath says I live in a town that has fall in the name. Um, so. Um, that that means you, um, like uh, like the like a waterfall, you know, or or the the season. Um, yes, you live in fall all year. All right, thanks, guys. Look, now I'm not the only one doing the dad jokes, and I appreciate that. Oh, Paul Murray sends a super chat. Says just finished the classified um, uh, to date and found out we have Flint, Lady J, and Zartan coming. Uh, Aussies. All right, hang on. Because I've got, I have notes. I have notes. Um, and I'm going to cover that here in just a minute. Uh, oh, Go Boy said I uh, received Gung Ho today. I'm supposed to get my Gung Ho pretty soon, too. I should get my Gung Ho about a week after I get, um, uh, a week after I get my Storm Shadow. Um, since Paul Murray sent a super chat about Wave 3 of Classified... I might as well start uh, start in on the uh, the GI Joe news. Okay, so apparently the Wave Three uh, GI Joe classified series uh, has been leaked, um, and um, uh, and so we have at least a, a lineup, at least a partial lineup. <laughs> Leah has lives in a town that has town in the name. Um, that uh, yes, Wave Three. Um, I do not have the dates that Wave Three are supposed to be released, but I have a list of allegedly uh, the figures that are in Wave Three, and it, these may not be all of them. Uh, Big Town Machine Shop says, "Quick question about." Uh, channel support, do you get a bigger percentage of the money from specific donation uh, that actually gets to you through uh, Super Chat or Patreon? Um, uh, yeah, good timeout. Let's do a little quick bit of quick um, 
uh, housekeeping. Um, as far as a percentage of what you uh, pledge, Patreon uh, pays out the highest uh, percentage of that uh, to me. Um, and the, the Super Chats are awesome. Um, but I think uh, Google takes a bigger cut of those. Um, so... Yeah, uh, Super Chat probably is uh, does the highest percentage. Now, I'm not asking anyone to run out there and uh, and run to, to Patreon at the moment. Unless you want to vote, there is a poll going on. Um, but uh, but that, hopefully that answers your question. Uh, big Town Machine Shop. That's what I'm calling you now because you're, you're big time now. Um, painted Plastic is still waiting for Tormod-esque Skoog. You know, it could happen. It could happen. Wave four, baby. Let's let's hold out for tripwire and in, in uh in wave four. Let's talk about um let's talk about um wave three. Okay, let's talk about wave three. Um uh in, in wave three, oh Cobra Island sends a super chat. Thank you very much, Cobra Island. Uh here is a uh, a list of what we think is coming in Wave 3, okay? There's supposed to be a Snake Eyes movie version, a Storm Shadow movie version. We'll have to talk about that in just a moment. Zartan, a non-exclusive Cobra Trooper, and Lady J. Uh, yes, Lady J. The couple of you have popped up there. It looks like we're supposed to get a Lady J. Um... And Warpath needs the his, uh, retro his tank of the Baroness. You know, I've seen the retro figures around. I still haven't seen the vehicles anywhere. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't know exactly what's going on with the, the vehicles. No Chuckles yet, if you can believe that. They haven't gotten around to Chuckles. But I am really excited to see what they do with Lady J. Because, I mean, I've, I, ha I feel like... Um, she should uh, be in more uh, traditional uh, combat fatigues. Um, I, I really am hoping they go more traditional and less futuristic with Lady J. Uh, that I would be pretty happy about that. Also, a non-exclusive Cobra Trooper is something that a lot of people have been clamoring for. Uh, because the Cobra Trooper that we've gotten so far... Uh, was the target exclusive, and it's been not exactly easy to army build the army builder um, through the target exclusive because the the target figures outside of perhaps Roadblock have been hard hard to find. I do have one story about that though. Um, I was a good Samaritan today. I was able to snag a Baroness. To send to uh, Chris from Comic Tropes. Uh, Chris from Comic Tropes has been looking all over for a Baroness. Had not been able to uh, find one. I was able to snag one. I'm sending it to him uh, at cost. No scalping. So uh, if, you're, if that's something that you're able to do, if you're able to help out a fellow collector, you know, there are a lot of people who still haven't been able to nail down that Baroness. And that Baroness is a good figure. It is a really, really nice figure. Um, uh, if her busty physique will be retained? Uh, possibly. Um, uh, I have a feeling it's going to be pretty... The same basic uh, female buck that they used for Scarlet, I would assume. Um, but I'm hoping that... I'm hoping that uh, that she'll at least have a a more traditional uniform, and I would like I would love for her to have the hat. I like the black cap. I like that very much. Um. Uh. So Zartan, you know, very popular figure, very popular uh, uh, character. <laughs> Depends on the quality of her bra. She's getting older. Uh, that's fair. You know, that's fair. We're, we're all getting older. You know, that's... <laughs> it, it happens. It happens to the best of us. Um, 
Uh, Rob says, I've been hitting four targets for two weeks. Finally got beachhead on Friday. Yeah, um, I've been uh, following the inventory tracker. Um, and that's that's how I ended up with my beach... Uh, my, I'm not, not my beachhead, but that's how I ended up with my Baroness. And that's how I was able to get um, Chris, his Baroness... But that's it. There are no more in the in this part of my state. Um, there are zero. All the stores are now sold out, and I have no idea if they'll be getting any more. Yes, Sparkster. Sparkster. Growing up is optional. Um. Anyway, um. So Zar um Zartan very popular. Um. Uh, so that, that should be a fairly good one. And I'd like to see how they, in uh, Zartan had kind of a futuristic kind of, uh, space, uh, AG kind of uniform, um, to begin with. So updating that, um, updating that, I think, um, could, could be very interesting. There's a lot that they could do with that, adding more detail, um, I, I just you know I do hope that he has his face makeup and has his cowl. I think that would be cool. Um, but uh, Zartan, you know that's that's one that I think I know I know has been mentioned as you know a figure that some folks have hoped to get. A mask accessory would be fantastic. Um, uh, SEO says uh, my girlfriend has been uh, checking stores with me with no luck. She bought me a Target Roadblock today, even though I had him, just because she was excited to find any of them. Yes, that's yeah, that, and that's how it's been. Um, uh, 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 cats, uh, do I have uh, IG? You mean um, Iron Grenadier for my channel? I do have an Iron Grenadier, if that's what you mean. Um, You know, if Beachhead came with the authentic smell, you know, I didn't get that close to him. <laughs> but I know what you're talking about. Um, so let, let's talk about the Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow movie versions. We're supposed to get movie versions of Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow, even though the movie... Um, Oh, Instagram. Uh, I, I have one, but I rarely use it, uh, to be truthful. Uh, Matt sends a super chat, says, I bet uh, Zartan's cowl is just Arctic Stormy's hood. That is an interesting thought, because that could they could use that as a, a double if they decide to be cheap. Interesting, interesting thought there, Matt Rubin. Um, I, I hope they don't do that, because I think that would be kind of... That would be cheating. I think that would be just a little ch too cheap. And he deserves to have his own parts. Um, so we're going to get a, a Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow movie version. The Storm Shadow is going to be more, uh, more inspired by the version 1 uniform, the version 1 design, than the the... Uh, Amazon exclusive. The Amazon exclusive is um, uh, is based on the Ninja Force uh, Storm Shadow. Um, so you'll get one that's closer to version one, but they have added extra. They add lots of extra everything. Uh, there's lots of lines and stuff uh, on these figures. And I think, I get it, they want to justify having the larger scale. I mean, at the larger scale, you can do more detail, so why, they just want to do more detail. Um, uh, they always, yeah, they always give us tons of snake eyes. That's, I guess that's standard. But, I mean, this is, we knew there were, we were going to get something related to the movie. The problem is, the movie isn't going to be out for another year. And that's the other bit of G.I. Joe news that I wanted to talk about. And that is we have a movie release date. 
uh, for Snake Eyes. They instead of October of this year, they're pushing it out to October twenty second of next year. So they are really wanting this to be a, an in theater experience. They are pushing it back um, really far. With, uh, apparently with the hopes that we'll ha- be in theaters again by then. Yes, uh, Sean, retaliation flashbacks. It, that is... Um, th- th- <laughs> it, they did kind of do this same thing. Different reasons, obviously. But, um, but we're, we're used to having G.I. Joe movies delayed for an extra year. So... Um, uh, so that was announced. Um, her toy fair next year canceled. Um, I, th- I think I heard that too. I- I'm not hundred percent sure, but there was something that was canceled and it may have been toy fair. Um, but, um, yes, it, it, instead of October, 2020, it's October, 2021. Uh, this was announced and I read, um, I read a, a a Facebook post and I, I looked at the comments, uh, and the comments are a little bit hilarious. It's like um, they're saying like, "Oh, they have no faith in this uh, movie," and you know they're uh, you know they're just they're they're putting it off. It's none of that has anything to do with why the date was changed. I mean, the date was changed because. Um, because there, there's a plague. I don't know if you've been aware, but there, there's a, there's a plague that's kind of going around, and you know, most movie theaters are are closed or otherwise very limited. So you know, they pushed it out to a time when it's m- more likely to be safe. Um, something about uh, singing cats. Um. Just had a mini uh, online toy fair everywhere event. Uh, the a small test for this winter. Okay, yeah, yeah. So maybe they'll do an online event. Plus, there's going to be a Hasbro Pulse um, two day online event uh, in later this month. It's in September. Um, another um, th- this idea that th- that they've pushed out the movie. Because they don't have, you know, faith that it will do well, I think is a little weird. Um, but then, like, other comments said, hey, they're gonna, it's gonna be going up against the Batman. Um, so it's gonna have, like, this uh, really tough competition, but it's not actually going up directly against the Batman. Um, the Batman release date is in early October. Uh, and the uh, Snake Eyes release date isn't until October 22nd, so it's actually not going head to head against uh, the Batman. So, um, yeah, I think Snake Eyes would beat Batman anyway. I, I mean, in a fist fight, you know, in, in fist to cuffs. Um, so. But the fact that they are releasing it in October and um, in October and and with a Batman movie released shortly before then means that they have to have some confidence in it that you know the re- residual crowd for Batman isn't going to skip the movie. Um, so we'll see. I mean, but the point is, we get to wait another year. Another year for for this uh, movie, um, and as always, I have to see it. I have I cannot judge a movie that I haven't seen. Um, and and I I'm I'm ready. I'm ready to see it. Um, yeah, the uh, the uh, but the, again there. Snake Eyes and Batman are not going head to head. They're being re- released on different weekends, uh, at at different ends of the month. So that's not they're not actually going head to head. Um, but um, yeah, I my feeling, my thought about this, based on what I've heard, what I've read, what the actors have said, is I think, 
Um, I think there may be more art in the movie than just, you know, a, a popcorn action flick. That's just the impression that I get. And I could be wrong. It could be just a shallow summer popcorn action flick. Well, it's not summer, you know. It's coming out in the fall, but it could be just a shallow popcorn action flick. But I'm getting the impression that there's more to it than that. And there may be a bit more of an artistic style to the movie. So, um, uh, so we'll see. I, I mean, there's no way to know. Um until it's actually until we actually get to see it um but uh anyway so that was the other piece of gi joe news is that we have a release date for the movie uh of october 22nd 2021 i caramba um uh yeah Uh, I, I'm not so sure about that, uh, Josiah. I mean, if we're still if we're still under COVID precautions a year from now, then you know you might as well just hang up the the just just turn the lights out on the human race because we are totally incompetent. I mean, it, sometimes it seems that way, but we have dealt with uh, pandemics before, and it is possible to uh, recover from them and move on. You know, if you do the right things. Which we stubbornly refuse to do. Uh, um, yeah, uh, uh, Katsumoto. Uh, I think that's kind of what they're expecting is that, you know, you're rebooting G.I. Joe, starting with the origins of Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow. And I, I much prefer that. I, I really actually prefer the idea of going to um uh of going to or starting with snake eyes and then feeding into um you know a, a larger story of the gi joe team i prefer that to starting with the larger story and then trying to break snake eyes out of it and do a separate thing for him I'd really rather start with the smaller story and then expand on that. I just that's that's my preference. So I'm glad they're doing it that way. I, I just think it'll work better that way. Um, one, I, I'm just drinking Pepsi Cola from a. This is a. Um, it's a, it's a Tulsa State Fair. Uh, cup. The Tulsa State Fair canceled this year, so I'm just. Um, um, I'm being nostalgic for uh, for the the fair, which I can't go to. Yeah. Ah. All right. So that's the news. Um. So uh, we'll just kind of hang out and, and and talk a bit. Um. Uh, I hope everybody enjoyed Cobra Convergence. Um. I really appreciate everybody who got involved. And um, uh, all the presenters and uh, all the people who independently, you know, made something for the event. Uh, it really means a lot to me uh, th that people would actually make the effort to be part of the event and make a special effort to do something for it. So uh, thank you to everyone who did. Um, it was really awesome. Uh, I'm looking forward to next year, and I'm looking for a way to uh, have more people involved next year. I I've got some ideas. I've got some ideas. I'm inspired. Um, uh, what's this? Um, I'm glad they're making a new roadblock because his head has been a little off during the years past. Okay. Um, Oh, you're talking about like uh, recent figures? I think that's what you mean. Not not his his head is a little off, but his his head. I I, th I think I understand. Oh, uh, big town machine shop. Uh, first time watching all of the videos in Cobra Convergence and thought it was great. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you and thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Um, uh, and thank you, um, bubble wrapped memories. Um, 
the event it, uh, started out very small um, and, and has grown each year. Um, Chad uh, sends a super chat. Uh, do you think they'll go the Avengers route and have Hawk create Snake Eyes for the G.I. Joe initiative? Uh, recruit Snake Eyes for the G.I. Joe initiative at the end of the movie? Um, maybe. M maybe. I think that is at least a possibility. I, it, it'll depend on... It'll depend on probably how far off a G.I. Joe movie would be. If it's going to be in the relatively near future, then I think there's a chance of them doing that. Um, if it's going to be a while, and if it, you know, if it's not like in the works, then they may not. Um, but uh, I, I, if they don't, then I still think that's going to lead into a larger G.I. Joe movie. So long as the Snake Eyes movie is successful enough. And again, I want to emphasize, the idea is, you know, of course we want it to be good, but even if it can't be what we would want it to be, it needs to at least be popular enough to justify continuing to make G.I. Joe movies, to continuing to do things like video games and toys. It's got to get enough people interested that they'll continue to give us new product. So it's we gotta hope that it's um that it's at least successful, even if it isn't to our personal preferences. Um, yeah, the Channing uh, Tatum Duke was not not a highlight. Um, uh, it, I mean, Channing Tatum had his moments as Duke, but you know. I just think he was kind of too young to play Duke. Duke, I, I, Duke's an older guy. I mean, not old. He's not old, old. But you know, for for a soldier, he'd be, you know, up there. Uh, um. Yeah. Uh. What, what we're calling toys are, for the most part, um. Uh, really adult collectibles. Um, and I think that for the most part, that's what we can expect. Uh, we're moving into the phase of uh, entertainment being more about media than about, you know, toys and plastic. And I think, um, I mean, that may change. We may see a, a line of toys that is targeted for kids, but I think most of the plastic will be targeted at people our age. Um, but I mean, if the, if the movie does well and gets kids excited about it, we may see, um, some actual toys, um, intended for actual children. Um, <laughs> okay, Fatal Fluffy. Um, nostalgia statues. Uh, th th thank you. That's um, that's a, a good term, a good term for it. Um, so right now, unless you have some some nostalgia for GI Joe, you don't have a lot of reason to go out and buy the stuff that's out there right now. Uh, but something like a movie. Uh, could change that. And I think they're also kind of banking on the video game. Uh, there is supposed to be a video game coming out in um, the October. October, I'm pretty sure. They probably intended the game to coincide with the movie release date, but obviously that didn't happen. Um, now, I, do, I mean, that's, Lazarus, I'm not saying Duke is, is like gray hair. But I'm saying Duke is going to be in his mid-30s to late-30s. You know, he's not going to be 25. Um, he's going to be a, a seasoned veteran. Yeah, that's that's all I'm saying. Um, as To my knowledge, the video game release date has not changed. They're still doing that, I'm pretty sure, in October, if memory serves. 
Um, and I have no, like, I don't know from video games. I don't know if the game is going to be good or not. It, it looked, yeah. Um, the, the trailer was okay, I guess. It, it wasn't, it didn't inspire me, but I guess I'm not the target audience. But I'll, I'll get it. I'll check it out. I mean, it, there's no reason why, why I couldn't, like, give it a chance. Um, by the way, I've got, I've got, I've got my coat rack right there. Um, and it's like, it, 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 it keeps looking like a person to me. Um, it's going to be, uh, you say what console It's going to be on, uh, like PS4 and, uh, Xbox one and, and PC, I think. But, you know, imagine waking up in the middle of the night and seeing a silhouette of what looks like a person with, with, with a spike head, you know, standing in the corner of your room. It's a little freaky. I'm going to have to move that thing. It's, 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 uh, it's, it's kind of freaky. Um, uh, switch. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be for the switch too. Um, uh, so, uh, <laughs> thank you for keeping my safety in mind. What's on Joe mind. Uh, th- that's what's on Joe mind. My safety. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Um, it's right behind me. <laughs> ah, um, oh, Hey, it's Lexi. Hello, Lexi. How do you do? Yeah, it's definitely a person with a, with a spike head. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, it's gonna be on the major consoles. Uh, miss you too, Lexi. Much, much miss you guys. Um, yes, there's a a coat. Uh, uh thank you, Raisiner, R- Raisin Warner, Raisioner, Raisioner. I'm going to just call you R. Uh, thank you, R. Uh, um, so we got like we we got like nine minutes left. We got plenty of time. Plenty of time. Yeah. Um. But uh, uh, next week I am taking next week off at least as far as like a vintage toy review. I do have something that will be going up on Sunday, but it's not going to be a vintage toy review. I hope it will um, satisfy for a while. Um, So you won't be without anything to watch. You'll have something. But I need a little bit of a break. Um, I've been working pretty relentlessly for weeks now, and I, I need a little bit of a break. Uh, yes, the laser pistol. I do have the laser pistol. I should keep that handy. You know, I, I do have a history of being attacked and, and like, being taken by surprise, um, being ambushed. Um, (laughs) did we just invent a new creepypasta? (laughs) Uh, Um, who, (laughs) um... Doing a Viper Month. Uh, Cobra Island's doing a Viper Month. Um, yeah, I just... I, I definitely need a break. I'm tired. It's been a busy, weird, weird month. Um, and, uh, yeah, just need need a, <laughs> need a little break. Yeah, I, I hope you liked the Cobra Law uh, sketch. Um, uh... uh Kats, Katsumoto, I'm sorry, it's, it's not that your name is hard to read, it's just the fact that the the type on the screen is really small and I can't read. Uh, Katsumoto uh, asks if I plan to do uh, classified reviews. Yes, actually I've got a classified review coming up. You should that you should see that soonish. Um, yes, uh, the, the Viper has come to vipe the windows. Um... Um thank you Woodsman I'll I will have to check that out. 
I'm so far behind on actually like watching videos from friends and you know listening to podcasts. I'm gonna try to like catch up on stuff without having to make things and without having to like uh, edit video or shoot video. I just need a little bit of a break. Um, but it'll be a little bit of a break because I've got ideas. I've got idea. I've got stuff coming up. I've got stuff that um, I-, I will be working on in the very near future. I really am inspired. Um, I'm excited. Um, it's gonna be uh, a really fun fall and winter. Uh, live stream the Pulse Con. Interesting idea. I will think about that. Um, I'm, I just barely mentioned it for a, a brief second, but Hasbro Pulse is doing this online two-day PulseCon thing, and I forget the dates. I didn't write down the dates. Um, but it's it's in September. It is this month. Um, so uh, live stream that. That's an intriguing idea. I'll, I'll think about it. I will think about it. We'll see. We'll, we'll think about it. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Will there be many Cobra Trooper versions released? Are you talking about uh, the in uh, classified, in the classified series? There's going to be at least one more, uh, like a, well, that's a trooper. If you want to call that a viper, there's going to be the the uh, non-exclusive Cobra Trooper. Um, twenty fourth and the twenty fifth. That sounds right, Rob. That that sounds right to me. I think that's correct. Um, uh, getting nervous about burnout on top of YouTube now have uh, uh, shoot and post multiple videos a day for my day job uh, since school is virtual oh yeah man that's a lot of video I that's I think that would burn out anybody uh, Glenn says favorite ninja is Storm Shadow. Well, that's a good one to be a favorite because that's a really great ninja. Um, so uh, we got about four minutes and I will wrap it up uh, at the end of the hour. Uh, and maybe just have a little lie down. <laughs> um, uh, What's on Joe Mind steps in with the, uh, with the confirmation uh, that PulseCon will be September 25th and 26th. Um, Joe Fest, which I, I won't be at Joe Fest, but it is coming up uh, this coming weekend. Uh, this Saturday and Sunday. So um, if you're in the area, you, you might go to that. I will not be there due to circumstances. Um but uh yeah it was uh cobra convergence was nice thank you for everyone's effort thank you for watching those of you who watched uh thank you for participating to everyone who participated uh thank you to the hosts for hosting and uh and and dedicating a little bit of their own creative time and energy um uh, Joe Convention in Pasadena, California. Is that the... Um, what show is that? What's that show called? Um, anyway, I, I think I know which show you're talking about. Uh, but sincerely, thank you, everyone. It, it means a lot to me. Um, I feel like I ask a lot of people to, to have them, you know, participate and work on something and release something on a specific at a specific time. Yeah, the SoCal uh, Joe show. I think that's the one um, that's supposed to be coming up. I'd love to go to that. If I could afford it and if I had the time, I'd love to. Um, so um, so thank you to everyone. Um, it was really cool. Um, but I'm really tired. And f- <laughs> there's a, a phenomenon every year. And like... I actually kind of get sick of saying the words Cobra Convergence because I say those words probably hundreds of times in the stretch of, you know, 31 days, 30, you know, through the that month. 
And I'm going to go for a little while not saying those particular words. Give my my vocal cords and my brain a little bit of a rest. But um, but there's some good stuff coming up. Uh, so we got about two minutes. I will uh, I will wrap this up in a couple minutes, and I will say good night. Um, I think I'm out of stuff. I think we talked about everything. We talked about everything. We needed to talk about. We talked about my show. We talked about Timmer's show. We talked about the Cobra Convergence. We talked about the uh, the the news. We talked about Wave Three. We talked about the movie. How about that? We got through it all. You know, guys, give yourself a, a a round of applause. I think you and I we both did a great job. Let's let's be truthful here. We both did an excellent job with tonight's live stream. I think this is one for the record books. It, this may be our best ever, you know, as far as uh, as far as getting stuff done, and that that's what it's really about, isn't it? Getting stuff done. Mm-hmm. Um. All right, guys. Uh, it is time. Uh, I'm going to say good evening, and um. Uh, and I will will be back, and we'll do it again next week. So uh, for now, everybody take care, and I will say good night. Bye-bye, everyone.